just wanted to test myself so I thought I'd film it. I've been making a lot of beanies lately, um, donating them to um, the local cancer ward, cancer treatment ward at my local public hospital because it's winter here and it's freezing cold and I have been making lots of beanies. I've been knitting lots of beanies. I've been knitting, it takes me about two, two nights to knit a beanie. I only knit during the night and um, they're really warm, toasty, but sometimes not everyone wants to wear a knitted beanie, especially if you've lost your hair your cancer treatments. I've knit heaps and I've got heaps of pom-poms and everything on them as well but these are just the two latest ones I finished. Um, so I thought I had the idea to sew beanies from knitted fabric, you know the stretch fabric. So um, that way you know if you don't like yarn on your head you can have fabric on your head to keep yourself warm. So I um, went to go buy a pattern and there's heaps of patterns for beanies which surprised me I didn't know there were so many options so I, I couldn't decide so I went into my wardrobe and grabbed out the beanie that I always use every winter with no fail because it keeps me warm and I looked at how it was made and um, it's actually just simple two pieces on the outside two pieces on the inside just an arch um, and so I went and bought a pattern I'll link the details below and um, so here's one that I finished and it looks like a t actually looks like a teapot cosy um, but it's really warm because it's it's oh, hang on here we go it's lined so it's reversible so you can have the inside on the outside or the outside on the inside you know or whichever so I've got it that way so they're actually really comfy you can wear it up you can slouch it down you can fold the the brim up, however you want to wear your beanie, is however you want to wear your beanie. And um, okay, it's really easy. And I was surprised at how quickly it took me to make up. So on the sewing machine, because, you know, it's been taking me a couple of nights to knit. So I thought I would time it to see how long it takes. So um, did you want to have a guess? See how long it takes to knit a beanie? Don't look at the time of the video because I'm yakking away. Um, so, you know, I'll wait while you go put a um, comment in the in below to see how long it takes me. Is it going to take me five minutes? Is it going to take me 20 minutes? It's going to take me an hour because I screw up all the time. How long? So put a comment below. I shall wait. In the meantime, look here, look, see, it's really comfy. It's really stretchy, really easy. So the pattern that I'm using, I have cut out, it's got one, two, three, four, five, six sizes, but I just cut out one in the adult size and I cut out the one that was a size smaller which is this one here and this is size 3 to 10 year olds so my son who's 11 will be wearing the adult and my daughter who's going to be 9 soon will wear the smaller one um, I mean I probably end up making one but I'm at the moment it's not my focus they've got beanies inside somewhere they can do their own anyway um, and so I've cut out fabric, so I'm going to cut the same. I've cut out the smaller size, so the child, three to ten year old. So I'm going to do the same as the finished Benny here. That's an adult size. So I've got the outside, I've got the lining. So I've got two pieces of fabric. Oops. So we've got one piece of fabric and then the back. They're kind of stuck together. <laughs> so you've got two of those, and I've got two of the lining with pom-pom fluff -pom I'll get rid of that so have you put it in the comments below how long it's going to take me all right so let's have a go I'm...
So there you go. It's all finished, all sewn. Of course, it's quicker if you do it on your overlocker or serger. Probably quicker if you had more sewing space, but I'm on the edge of the kitchen table here. It's all done. All it needs is a tiny little hand sign, but if you can see the time, look. Five minutes. So if we just take a needle and a thread, where's the end? Can't even see where I started. And then you just got to sew this tiny little hole out shut, which is not going to take long at all. But like I said, if you're more organized, you can get this done in five minutes. But I'm never organized. I don't have a sewing space. Do you guys have a sewing space? Because my sewing space is the kitchen table. So you just got to. I just sewing this shut like I'd sew a knitted beanie or a knit knitting done. Like a, I'm not quite sure what the stitch is called. I, I don't have fancy names for stitches. Those sorts of things scare me. I'll just show it, sew it shut. Pop the thread in, go in new. I mean, how easy is this? And it's done. It's all sewn. Let's tie off the end. Find a pair of scissors, probably the hardest part. And there we have a completely finished beanie and it's just gone seven minutes and that's sewn on the sewing machine, hand sewn the clothes. So if you wanted to batch sew them, you would do all the sewing machine pieces and then go back and do the ends, that tiny little end, um, so that would be even quicker than that. Uh, you would probably do all your linings together and then well, we'll stitch everything else back. Yeah, you, you would have a process. So it can take you quicker than seven minutes, especially if you're doing it on the overlocker because <laughs> they just zoom. But um, this was just on a stretch, um, was it a zigzag stitch on my sewing machine with a, um, a special needle for, you know, knit fabrics because you need that ballpoint needle. And how quick is that? How many of these can you whip up in a day? You know, for Christmas, for birthdays, for your gift cupboard, for the, uh, for the homeless, all like I'm going to do, I'm going to donate these to the um, local cancer treatment ward at the hospital because it's winter here, it is bitter icy cold. So um, let me know if you make any. And I totally recommend this pattern. It's so easy and it doesn't take much fabric at all. Thanks for watching.